How do you remove lead paint off of an 80-year-old 6,500 square foot steel hanger door? With lasers, of course. But before we get to that, we have some prep work to do. First, workers apply a paint stripper to loosen the layers and layers of old paint. To ensure complete removal, it's important that the stripper is applied to every nook and cranny. With stripper applied, we can now cover it with polyethylene plastic sheeting. The plastic is used to keep the stripper from drying out, and to prevent contamination. The workers seal up all the edges, to make sure that the stripper is locked in and airtight. Now, we must wait until next day. This ensures that the stripper has had ample time to do its job and penetrate the layers of old paint. It's time to suit up and get ready for the day ahead. With everything all loosened up, workers scrape off all the old paint. Afterwards, we clean up all the debris and dispose of everything properly. And now, it's time to ready the laser. To protect the eyes of anyone nearby, not wearing class 4 laser protective eyewear, a containment field is created around the area that the laser will be used. The laser technician checks all the hoses and wires to make sure everything is ready to go. All right, let's power on this 500 watt laser and see what we got. The laser is vaporizing the remaining paint and rust. The incinerated lead doesn't stand a chance. In fact, air quality testing has shown that our method is much safer and cleaner than traditional methods, such as grinding or sand blasting. With all of the rust and paint removed, including the lead, the steel doors are essentially restored to manufacturing conditions. In fact, once we're done, it's important for the doors to be painted to prevent oxidation. And that is how you restore an 80-year-old hangar door. <laughs>